Hello everybody, my name's Pete from Alan's World and today we're going to bring you in a let's play we are going to bring you how to build an automatic sugarcane farm so like all videos I'll start off by showing a little demonstration of one I've already built earlier a bit like Blue Peter really and here's one I made earlier so this is my take of a sugarcane farm I've just changed it slightly from this video here I found a better way of actually doing the redstone other than what I've got here. There's, a bit, there's quite a lot of redstone here. Um, I found a more efficient way how to do it. But the principle is still going to be the same. When you push the button, all the pistons will come out and the water will then carry it down into my hoppers and then into my chests. And then later on we can come back again and see if any sugar canes grow and just re-push the button again. So we've got that there. We've also, um, I'm also going to show you how to do a simple clock method as well which you could put into this so the pistons just can keep coming in and out, in and out on a timer so um so it could be completely automated as well but um have a look over it all it is is a big bunch of pistons with some sugar cane grown and some water so let's go have a look inside and have a little go at making one of these so so here we are. Uh, if you looked at one of my last videos, um, someone suggested maybe if I should have a, um, a stone floor because I keep doing lots of things with the lava and that and I could probably set it on fire. So I've probably taken this suggestion and I've just changed my middle bit. I left the outside wood because I quite like the idea of having a wood sort of floor that's quite nice. But the centre bit where I do most of my builds is now stone just to hopefully stop me from having any fire. So thank you very much RD Rebel RDX for your suggestion for after stone. So with this with this video, the first thing we're gonna need is some supplies sort of coming over and my redstone. So we've got we've got some wool, some sand and some water. Uh, we all know sugar cane can't be laid unless it's next to a block of water. It can be laid on dirt or sand but it actually grows a lot faster on sand so I recommend building it with sand. For our redstone things we need some redstone, some pistons, a button, piston, I, I don't know why I've got a trap trap door, um, we don't need a trap trap door, we need a hopper and we also need a chest. There we go, um, I'll just put that up there for now and just put a quick chest. 64 at least 64 never mind right so the first thing is we want to do you can make these as big or as long as you want but generally on a straight on a straight surface water will only travel eight blocks yeah, in a straight line but if you drop it down one level it will go a further eight blocks so if you want to go less than eight you need to put some signs up or some ladders or or um pressure plates to stop the water from moving but I just recommend it's possibly just easy just to keep it with eight long. So for this tutorial, I'm only going to have my water traveling eight blocks. I want to use a double chest at the end. So I'm going to use a double chest to actually place it in, in place. So the first thing I'm going to do, make it nice and simple. I'm going to have, uh, see it's going to be quite strange now because I'm going to use double. So it's not going to really work too much. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's my first eight. Sort of on there and then I'm gonna put that sand well along there for my I missed two I'm gonna put sand all the way down here as well and then this is where my this is where my pistons are gonna be on so I wanna come over so my pistons that's not very good is it let's try that again so my pistons facing out this way and then another row over there and again we wanted some more pistons along there and then along there so the sugar cane you don't want to harvest the very very bottom one so that's why we've got a gap just on there if you harvest the bottom one it's not going to keep growing but sugar cane can grow too high naturally so therefore we want to really think about putting two pistons sort of come up on the other side right so to do our next line we need to put a block of a, a block behind over there 
and then we put, go on the other side and do the same again. With all redstone, um, the power can channel through one block. So when you lay it like this, the redstone is going to go through there and into that block, will take it to the bottom piston, and the redstone repeater will take it to the top block, take it to that piston. So if you looked at my last one, I had lots and lots of redstone trails. There's actually no need for it. Um, because all you need is this one low of redstone and that one low there will power both of our sides. And it's, it's taken it over. So we've got, that's it for the redstone. So it's nice and nice and simple. And all we need to do now is just link them up. Yes, yeah, so you can link them up many different ways. But all I'm going to do is just put a redstone trail coming over. link it to the bottom there and then we'll do exactly the same again I like my thing to be quite symmetrical uh, one more up there up there then over and then we just bring the redstone all the way down and come up because it can only travel 15 blocks you need to bear that in mind as well so what I recommend you do is just put a quick piss a quick um block there and a block there um, actually uh, what I'm going to do because I want to make it look a little bit more prettier than what it actually is I might just change this slightly just to come over uh, let's put a pink one there and then, so then I can pick that up there and I can do that there make it look a little bit nicer and then I can hide the redstone. The last thing you want to do sometimes in your contraptions is it's really, it's really nice to, to um, hide the redstone so people can't see all your workings. Just to slow that down so hopefully it'll come out roughly the same time because I've just put two ticks sort of on there. We've got it on there. That looks nice now. Let's lay my water. One, two, and it should stop just there. Yeah, so we see it travels eight blocks. And now I'm going to drop this down on the, on here. And um, what I'm going to no, actually, um, it's just block this off quickly because I'm. Um, Silly me. I'm just going to put my drop these off there. I'm going to put my chest here, my double chest. It's going to be at the end. And now, what we need to do now is just put the hopper sort of down. If you don't know how hoppers work, um, you need to be encrouched. Yeah, so if you're encrouched, it will go towards the thing you're looking at. Yeah, so, so if I break, if I break the chest there. It gone in that direction yeah so I'll just show you over here so we've got if I just put it down normally I'm standing it will go straight down if I crouch and then face towards the chest it will go towards that direction yeah so it doesn't matter how I do it if I crouch it will go over there yeah crouch it will go that way yeah Oh, that says you've gone straight down. Yeah, but you can do a hopper and then have a crouch and then have a hopper going into each other. Yeah, and then break that one and then have that one there. So you have a hoppers going into each other, pushing the stuff either side. But you, you, you really, you need to be crouched to work out the direction you're facing to work out how you want to put it. Yeah, now we just put our water in here. The water will take it along there itself. So that's all that stage done. That's my mechanic. That's all my mechanics done. So what I'll probably do now is just make it a little, a little bit prettier. We we'll put um, a little wall there, hiding on my redstone, and then I need a button just there to turn that on. Uh, we'll hide all the, we'll hide all that there. Yeah. Uh, let's 
get rid of all that. Um, I think a bit of glass might make this look a bit nicer at the end. And what we could do, we could really task, make it look quite nice and finish it off. Um, what I might do is just get some uh, some birch wood planks. Maybe if I put them on the top like like this. Um, that might just finish it all off and make it look a little bit nicer and come over there we go that looks nice it's all about making that look nice as well when you build things you want to be quite proud or something yeah so I've just built that there so it's a bit torch got some light in the end there some light on the end there and then finally let's get the sugar cane place that onto here and nothing happened so it's a good style. Um, let's put it up a little bit higher. It might have it a bit low. <laughs> and, it all, and it all comes out. Here we go. Yeah, I just had it too low. Yeah, so I've got remember. That's it. That is your sugarcane farm. So now, if I just put some sugarcane onto here now to speed up the process. So the sugar cane, just grown up the sugar cane naturally, oh, sort of artificially, and the hoppers are sitting there, it's ready to go. And all I need to do now is to come over, push the button, the sugar cane all pops out. If you watch it come all the way down, it goes into my hoppers, and then inside the chest, it's now filling itself up. So here you go. So this is my take of an automatic sugar cane farm. Yeah, and okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye! Yeah, and okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.